Now, this is uh, uh, the commercials are commercials are torture. Uh, the, the commercials alone are torture. Part three. I uh, wanted to do uh, something came back to me. You know, the rebels us. Right. When I was younger, either in my early twenties, well, I think I was in my early twenties. Now, what happened was that Brandy got cancer, and she went to Florida, went to, down there and visited her to Florida. We came back up. Uh, well, before then, uh, I was with Brandy. She asked me one day, boyfriend, girlfriend, she asked me, what do you want for your birthday? Before I knew God, and just came out of my mouth. Just, just said it right away. I want to have a threesome one time. Well, Brandy, uh, got her sister my brother Lonnie uh, for my birthday bought a room at your motel so I got a uh, Brandy's little sister was petite um, so I got uh, anyway um, move up a little bit uh, Brandy we kind of had an open relationship as long as you just been honest and told said something asked something if you want to be with somebody tell you know it's kind of like that um, but she went out with uh, uh, I believe Sean Ludwig and Cecil a black guy and had sex with them or something and didn't tell me about it didn't I didn't know that she cheated on me and I uh, took that seriously um, so I kind of left her, but uh, I went to her sister. Um, um, cause she hurt me. I don't know doing that. I don't know. Sean Lugway is the one that, uh, stole my next door, uh, got, uh, Mr. King's radio, gave it to me and got me a felony, put the, his, his furniture, my next door neighbor's furniture on this uh, my patio here so the cops would go there and investigate oh you so and stole the radio and, oh but our furniture's next door they go here and uh mercedes mom and family sarah would send the cops to me because sean gave me the radio he got me high on acid i was in got you high on acid and went and did that he did it um so you know, I got entrapped, set up in the game. But anyway, he's the same one that would get uh, Mercedes' aunt uh, selling her body, so therefore they could buy heroin. She made her into a prostitute so they could uh, get heroin. Uh, I stayed up all night, uh, one night, uh, putting flyers up like LL Cool J and. Uh, Sarah's missing. We're looking for her when she was prostituting. And, um, I was with uh, uh, Mercedes. Uh, Mercedes. What? Okay. Charlotte, her aunt, mother's, and then her daughter. I was with the car full of females of the Mellons family. I was up all night, tired, and they started yelling, Are you tired, Kevin? And putting up flyers. Where am I? Oh, yeah. Sarah ended up, uh, when I was taking kids, after I got, then I got saved. I was, all I was about was taking kids to church. I knew how to drive a car, get them saved. Oh, I wanted to get them saved. I was taking uh, Bobby Stevens' cousin, Tiffany Stevens' daughter, Jade, one of the kids of the mini I took, took her, and I was dropping her off from church. And, uh, I, and Tiffany comes out and says, uh, you know, Sarah is dead. She OD'd on the bathroom floor, that needle on her arm. Uh, oh. Oh. I bet that Sean got her into that stuff. Um, where was I? So I'm thinking about it. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, uh, I, uh, oh, I 
miss some stuff. I uh, anyway, I end up being with Nisa. Nisa was five foot two. She was an adult, like 18, 18. She was five foot two, but looked like a little girl. Five foot two was proportion that she looked like a girl, a little girl, um, but she looked really hot naked. It, I don't know. It, she worked at Deja Vu, made a lot of money because she looked like a little girl, but she was an adult. Um, um, now, this rebel us, it, it's Satan. It, kids, we're with the sexual sin. Trannies, you are my sunshine. Man, hey. Um, I, I want to get married. Do my best to be faithful to my wife. But it, I've been alone a long time. 